Um, with me here is Guilty Beats, a producer and DJ uh, from Ghana. Um, and I thank everyone for coming out here today, taking our time from the very busy schedules to honor this invitation. And special thanks to um, Studio Vibes for organizing this under such short notice. So basically, to not waste your time, I'm just going to go straight to the two reasons why I'm in Tanzania. And the number one reason is like is the most important reason, which is uh, something called Empower, the Empower program. So Empower is E-M-P-A-W-A, -E -A, Empower Africa. So uh, you could go online and check empowerafrica.com. You could go on Instagram empower africa and see the page yeah so basically um what empower what what empower is is empower is my initiative and what it is is you know we've decided to fund 100 videos for 100 african artists and um, we're starting with um you know six countries for year one and we've committed to do it for the next three years. So this year, next year, and the year after that, God willing. Uh, and hopefully it will get bigger and bigger as it goes. Um, so the countries right now are um, Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, um, Rwanda, or seven, and Zimbabwe. So seven, um, African countries, where in all these seven countries, I expect to get at least 10 artists per country. So for instance, by the time I come back next year, I should be able to face you guys and say, we have paid, we have helped 10 upcoming emerging Tanzanian artists to shoot music videos. Um, that's the goal. And we should be able to say that in Uganda, we should be able to say that in Ghana, we should be able to say that in all the countries who are doing it. So the question is, why, okay, why are we doing this? So two years ago, about two years ago, Tanzania was one of the first, I think it was the first country out of West Africa that booked me for a show. We were just laughing about it with Straight Up Vibes. I think I had one, one or two songs then, and four. I had four songs, but in my mind, I had only two songs people would know, especially in Tanzania, because before then I'd never come to East Africa, and it was Tanzania. And so when I came to the show, I, I was expecting it was going to be a show of 50 people, or maybe 60 people, or maybe it's just his girlfriend, that maybe. <laughs> you know, sometimes maybe your girlfriend likes an artist, so you just say, you want to show your girlfriend, so you just book me. So. But fortunately, when I got on stage, I saw a lot of people on the beach. And I think it had rained earlier in the day. So I was even in my mind, I was saying, Haha, look at this guy. This guy has brought me from Nigeria. It has rained. And I have only two songs. <laughs> there will be nobody here. But when I came, I was impressed by the love I received um, from Tanzania. So many people. And I found out that I, I didn't have only two songs. I had four songs. But like, wow. Because songs that I wouldn't even perform in some other places, um, my fans in Tanzania were singing it. And so, by the, that year was so successful for me that by the time it was time to move into the next year, I said, I want to take a break somewhere where I can relax and plan the future. And I came to Tanzania again, but this time I went to Zanzibar. And it was in Zanzibar, we shot the video with my very good friend, Ben Paul, uh, for one of my favorite songs, Baby Yo, oh, you check my phone. You know, so that would be the second time I was coming to Tanzania. This is the third time I'm coming to Tanzania. Now, how did Straight Up Vibes, how did, how did they know about me? It was most probably because they saw my videos on YouTube. And how did Tanzanian fans know about somebody that is in Nigeria doing music? It's because they saw my video on the internet. 
I've paid for at least five videos of artists. So we usually don't announce it, but we've been paying for videos for artists between Nigeria, Ghana. We've been working with emerging artists, you know, from Kenya, from everywhere. But one of the most important ones was an artist from Ghana called Chris Yoto. So I paid, I, I, I went to Ghana and I found out that this young artist, he had been you know, he was the hottest artist, like underground artist. And so I was seeing his videos on YouTube. This guy was doing a lot of big shows in university and everybody singing his song back to him. And I was like, I need to meet this guy, he's a rapper. So I called him to my hotel room. We had dinner uh, in, in, in the in dinner room. And then I asked him, so what next? He said, oh, I want to shoot a music video, but I've been taking long to shoot it because I've not been able to fund the music video. And I was like, how? How come you're doing all these shows? If all these people are singing your songs, how come you don't have the money to shoot a music video? And then he told me, oh, I've been, I've been doing these shows for free because I want to get popular. And so I said, okay, you know what, we'll pay for your video. So I got my team, we paid for his video and I forgot about it. This year, that same guy was nominated for the BET Awards. And I had even forgotten that I shot his video until one day I woke up and I was trending on Twitter and I was afraid. I was like, what did I do wrong? Only for me to check, he had tweeted and said, thank you, Mr. Easy, for a lot of you don't know, but Mr. Easy paid for my video. And it was at that point I said, you know what, let's put this thing together and make it official. So hence empower, and I said, you know what, we're going to make sure we find 100 people like Kwesi Otto and fund their videos. And not only paying for their videos, we'll promote the videos. And the top 10 out of the 100 would go with me to South Africa, where I'll have a lot of big producers, lawyers, music business managers to teach them. And they can get further investment. So to get in is very simple. All artists used to do, all artists need to do is just go on, just shoot a video of yourself with your phone, singing or rapping to instrumental, no instrumental, maybe you're with a guitar or you're with a piano, you know, and upload it on Instagram with the hashtag empower100, that's all. Very simple. And we'll be checking on the back end to see the ones that are dope and we pick and we start funding. Right now we have over, I think over 700, I just announced two days ago, we have over 700 people have already submitted, which is to show how serious this is and how people need it. So I remember talking to my brother, and, you know, one of my big brothers in the game, um, uh, Ben Po, first my friend, and Ben Po was like, oh, are you going to bring this to Tanzania? I was like, uh, maybe. And then I was talking to Harmonize as well, and Harmonize was telling me, yo, you need to bring this to Tanzania. You cannot say you're doing Africa and Tanzania is not part of it. And I was speaking to uh, Simba, um, Diamond Patton, and he said, oh, this is, he didn't even ask, are you bringing it to Tanzania? He said, oh, so when are you coming to Tanzania? So, I knew that, okay, if all my friends are saying we have to bring it here, then we have to bring it here. So that's the long and short story of um, Empower. We have committed $300,000 to fund these videos. And we've partnered with a company um, in, that's present in Ghana and Nigeria. It's called Bet Power. Uh, and they will be starting something called the Empower Jackpot. And so 10% of the money they make from Empower Jackpot goes into the Empower program so that we can even generate more money to fund. And let me make this clear, none of the artists, we're not signing any artists, we're not signing the artists, we're just helping the artists start their careers. Um, I think I've covered every point um, and this is where if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me and yeah, to ask me and ask uh, Guilty Bits and we will um, answer your questions. Finally, um, I just dropped a new mixtape. So 
This is the second time. This is the third time I'm coming to Tanzania, and this time I have two projects. So at least now I have maybe <laughs> maybe 15 songs or 20 songs, you know. And this new project is called Lagos to London, and. On the first side of the project, the Lagos side, I featured some of our standing artists, my favorite artists from Lagos. So, Simi, uh, my favorite artist from Ghana, King Promise, uh, the legend Two Face, uh, international superstar DJ, um, producer Diplo, and uh, my friend here, Guilty Beats, produced most of the records. And on the London side, you have Gigs, uh, Snake Bow, you have Bonner Boy, and you have Luto Boys. So the reason why I named my project Lagos to London was because I saw that my music had started traveling from Lagos, and not just Lagos, from Africa, and getting into the UK. So I started doing a lot of collaborations in the UK, a lot of successful collaborations, some of them top 40, top 20. And I said, let me let my fans in Africa know what is happening in London and let me let my fans in London know what is happening in Africa. So I've put both vibes on the same project. So if you're if you if you like me, if you like Mr. Easy because you're listening to all the music he's making in London, then you have something to listen to. If you like Mr. Easy because of the music he makes in Africa, you have something to listen to. And perhaps when you start listening to the Lagos side, you will love the London side. When you start listening to the London side, you start loving the Lagos side. And I also have a, a reggae artist there as well. His name is Chronix on the project. And the project just dropped about six days ago. Lagos to London is out everywhere on, um, on YouTube, on Boomplay, Apple, Spotify, everywhere, every store. And, you know, I decided Tanzania was going to be one of the countries in Africa where I come have a listening party. So today I'm going to be having a listening party for, you know, media, press, and a couple of my fans where I will just play the project. I will play all the songs on the project, explain the meaning of every song, and perform some full, some half, and just listen and party with the fans and the press and the DJs and everyone showing me uh, love. And hopefully sometime next year I can come back to do my concerts and come back to do something with the universities as well.